Hey boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Um, I have a brand new product I've been working on for a while and I want to show it to you in a little demo. So this is my 99 Chevy Blazer. Uh, I'm going to just take a little shop towel. I do have some 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. We're going to go ahead and clean this window really well. So I've been working on glass products lately. Um, I've got a reason for it. I uh, will not disclose right this second. But either way, just know that you're getting new glass products. As you probably already saw, I have a brand new glass polish, which will remove minor scratches and swirl marks and that kind of thing in the glass. Uh, it has cerium oxide in it, which is, well, a glass abrasive, if you will. It does a great job of removing uh, any of the water spots that you have, but also minor scratches. So if you're looking to remove minor scratches and get better clarity out of, out of your glass uh, with scratch removal, the polish, the glass polish, will be what you'd need. Now, if you just want to remove some water spots and increase the clarity dramatically on the windows, on all the glass, this new product is what you need. This is a acidic water spot remover. It is a gel. There are other ones on the market. But again, like everything, I wanted something that worked faster and better. So we used, there were, there were, there were a total of six ones that we ordered to test against. There are definitely acidic water spot remover gels out there for sure, but mine's better period. Um, now that the window is all clean, I'm going to bring you in and show you, I'm going to show you basically what we're looking. All right. So there's all kinds of scale on these, these windows. You can see it. It's not clear. Just all kinds of scaly and crap all over this glass. And there's basically, when this happens, there's a film over the glass of the sediment that has hardened. Uh, it could be anything from iron, sulfur, other phosphates, and all kinds of crap that's in the groundwater or uh, acid rain, I guess. But the bottom line is, this thing right here is 24 years old. And over the years, it has gotten all of this scale and grossness all over it. So as you saw, I cleaned it with uh, isopropyl alcohol. I basically did that so that... Um, you could see that the stuff is left even after alcohol. And I'll do one better. We'll just throw some on there. Ain't gonna hurt nothing at all. And we'll just give her another wipe down. So you can see that this this scale doesn't go away. And it's a it's a big problem for most cars. And so whether you're in a higher end detailing situation like I do, or you are a production detailer, it doesn't matter because these uh, spots and this scaly nastiness really makes anything look bad. So you want that clarity back. So with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and do your little demo for you. So you could use a foam applicator if you want. I'm just gonna use a shop towel because I have them right here and no need to kill a foam applicator. Um, basically what you want to do is you want to put a little bit of this stuff right here on the, uh, applicator and then you take it over here, you find you some scale and you wipe it in. You, if you noticed that little bit that I put on, uh, this, um, towel, that's all you need. That's all you need for about a two foot by two foot section. So I put the gel all over that glass, as you see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's been about three minutes. We still got the gel on the surface doing its thing. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a clean towel 
and I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on it to help me remove the the gel but after I wipe this off if I have left it long enough it should be free of that nasty scale that you saw that whole layer of crap that was on this thing all right for shits and giggles i'm gonna put a little alcohol on there then i'm gonna just take a microfiber towel and wipe it off yep it's clear crystal clear looking good no more scale yippee the product works great did you think it wouldn't? I know you didn't. You expect amazing from me, and that's what I produce. Day in and day out. Look at that glass. No, it's not perfect. Yes, it still has some streaks on it from the uh, isopropyl alcohol, but you can see that the scale is gone. That's what matters. See, look right where the light is. Yes, there's some scuffs or whatever, but the scale is all gone. There are no more water spots. See if we can't get this a little bit clearer. Just using this 91% isopropyl alcohol. I, I did not dilute it. Generally, you would. Um, there's no real need in detailing to use straight up isopropyl alcohol. Anyway, no more scale. If you look at this side, let's see. Yeah, see all the scale that's on this side still? All this crap, I'm trying to get you to, yeah, there you go, you can see it now. So where it's not anymore, there are streaks, like I said, but look at this. How crappy that looks. You can see all the patchy spots. Yep, I just wiped it on, let it sit. Again, I could work, well, I generally would absolutely work harder to get uh, these streaks out. I don't necessarily care for this particular video but um for really heavy duty stuff you could definitely uh run this stuff twice if you want if you need to you generally don't it's pretty stout stuff uh the reality is I've had great luck leaving it on the surface for two to three minutes. Um, I wouldn't leave it more than five or six minutes, but if you've got heavy duty scale, it, first of all, it's not going to hurt anything to leave it on there longer. Uh, you just probably, if that solution dries, it will be a little bit more difficult than you would prefer to remove it, but it's not a big deal either way. But you see how nice and clean and clear with exception of the streaks. Uh, it is here and then we go over here and you keep following it and then boom you get into the nasty again So that's just one demo. Uh, I am going to Shoot several videos on several cars. I'm actually going out of town This week and uh, while I'm out of town, I will be shooting some more videos on this product But it's it's awesome for removing water spots on glass uh, I have also used it successfully on paint to remove water spots. It works great, doesn't harm the paint, nothing. But this one is, I guess what I'm saying is I'm going to market it specifically for glass. Um, some pros can definitely use this for, you know, more than just glass. But this was designed to be used on glass because glass is, you know, it's... It, it's almost pour free, if you will. Uh, there's, it doesn't, things don't soak into it. They just sit on top. So if you want all this nasty scale gone, I'll hook you up with some of this stuff. I am running a pro promo of some of the, some products are BOGO right now uh, on DetailJuice.com. If you're in my group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, you already know this, but I'm having a BOGO sale of some uh, products we wanna thin out before the start of the year. And then every order from that BOGO is going to get a sample of this product. So get in the group if you're not in there. Or I guess reach out to me directly, 813-846-4406, uh, and I can uh, let you know what the BOGO products are. But you can see a definitive line right here where the clean stops and the gross starts. So... 
All right, thanks guys for uh, watching this video. And if you need me, let me know. See how dark it is right there on this side? Yeah, you can see. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. That has been a demo of the acidic water spot removal, remover gel for glass. Stuff works awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.